Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Security Tutorial. This is the continuation of the previous video. Please watch the previous video before proceeding with this video. In the previous video, we have discussed about customizing the Spring Security. We discussed how to customize the multiple users inside the Spring Security application. In this video, we are going to discuss one more way of customizing the multiple users inside the Spring Security application. You might have seen this in some of the blogs or in some other YouTube videos or also you can see some other developers might be using this approach. So I will show you one more way of configuring the multiple users inside the Spring Boot application using the Spring Security. Let's begin. First let's look at the control flow of the Spring Security. So when a client sends a request to the Spring Security application, the request goes to the authentication filter. The authentication filter will send it to the authentication manager. Authentication manager will identify the authentication provider which is used in the application and the authentication provider internally uses the user detail service as well as the password encoder. We are going to make use of the in-memory user details manager to configure the multiple users. In-memory user details manager is actually an implementation of the user details service. Let's look at the development steps. All we need to do is inside the my security configuration class we are going to override the same method which is configure method method which takes in the authentication manager builder as a parameter and inside this we are going to create an instance of the in memory user details manager like i said this is an implementation class for the user details service and we are going to make use of the user we will call the with user name method and we will configure the username as well as the password and we will also configure the authorities like i said if you don't specify the authorities then the spring will throw an exception the spring security will throw an exception and we're going to call the build method this will gives us the user details okay and we are going to configure multiple users so we will configure one more user user dot with username user is actually a part of the spring boot uh, spring security application it is already built into the Spring Security. The Spring team has already created that. We will make use of this user and we will call the method with username and we will specify the username which is power and the password 1234 authorities user and we will call the build method. This will give us the user details. Next, we are going to make use of this user details service. It provides a method called create user and to this create user method, we are going to pass the username. So user1 and user2. And finally, on this authentication manager builder, we are going to call the user detail service. We're going to call the user detail service and we're going to pass the user details manager, which is user detail service. So this will configure the two users inside our Spring Security application, Bhushan and Pawan, which is having the authorities, admin and user. And also we need to provide the password encoder as well. If we configure, if we did not configure the password encoder, Spring Security will throw an exception. So we are going to create a bean of password encoder. We are going to use no op password encoder. We are, going, we are not going to use any of the encoding techniques. So we'll use no op password encoder and we'll call the get instance method. All right, so now let's jump to the STS ID and let's write a code for this and test the application. All right, I'm inside the STS ID. Let's open the configuration class, which is my security config. I'm going to comment this method. Let me create some white space. So let's override the configure method. Configure, which takes in the authentication manager builder as a parameter. And inside this, we're going to create a instance of the in-memory authentication manager in memory, in-memory, user details manager. I'm going to call this user details service new in memory user details manager. So if you go inside this class, you will see this is an implementation of the user details manager. So if you go inside this user details manager, this is actually extends the user details service in memory user details manager is actually an implementation of the user details service. It provides bunch of methods like create user, update user, delete user, change password and user exists. Let's go to the, let's go to the my security config and 
Now let's make use of the user, which is provided by Spring Security with username. And we will configure the user, which is Bushan dot password one two three four five dot authorities we have to provide the authorities let's say admin authority and we will call the build method so you can see the build will return the user details so let's store this inside the user details let me call this user one similarly i'm going to copy this i will configure one more user this is user 2 let's say pawan pawan12345 user authority and next we are going to make use of this user detail service to call the create user method like i said it provides a bunch of methods one of the method is create user method so user detail service dot create user and we will pass the users let me copy this and paste it and i will change the user which is user2 and then we are going to make use of this authentication manager builder auth dot user details service we are going to pass the user details manager user details service so user details service all right so now we need to configure the password encoder as well public password encoder password encoder let me call this password encoder i'm going to add the b annotation return no password encoder dot get instance awesome so let's save this so now we have configured two user using the in memory user details manager one is Bushan and another one is Pawan, which is having authorities, admin and user. Okay, so now let's go to the Postman and test the API. Application is started. Let's go to the Postman and I'm going to type the request localhost colon 8080 slash. What do we have? Let me check. Go to the controller home controller we have slash user slash home slash user slash home is actually a public url public resource anyone can access this click on this send we should get the message you are on the home page similarly if i go to the dashboard dashboard we should get the unauthorized exception as you can see let's go to the authorization and change this to basic auth Let's provide power and 12345. The moment we click send, we should get the message. You are seeing the dashboard contents. Awesome. So what do we have done? So inside the security config, we have override the method configure, which takes in the authentication manager builder as a parameter. And we make use of the in-memory user details manager, which is actually an implementation of the user details service. And we have created the users using the spring provided class which is user and we will configure the username and password and authorities and finally we are going to create those users using the user details service and finally we are going to provide the user detail service to the authentication manager builder and we have configured the password encoder we have configured NOAA password encoder okay that's all about this video i hope you understand and in case if you are looking for the source code, you can head over to my website, bushansirgur.in and go to the Spring Boot and go to the Spring Security and you will see all the posts which I have written regarding the Spring Security. That's all about this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.